In this video, senior recruiter Andrew Price explains how training at Pilot Catastrophe works and what you can do before showing up for training to give you the best chance at a successful career as a CAT property IA, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. And thanks to Jorge Mercado from YouTube who asks, thank you for the excellent information. You mentioned cell towers and now I'm wondering what's the most reliable cell phone network in your experience? A couple of big networks out there make the claim of having the best coverage. Muchas gracias, Senor Mercado. I've used Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile over the years, but by far, the best network award goes to Verizon. Many times we can find ourselves out in the sticks and needing to use our phones. And Verizon usually comes through. I would lose signal with those other networks just outside of city limits and many times just a few miles from any interstate. So yeah, for now anyway, Verizon has really been amazing for us and for me as a cat adjuster. And just as an FYI, when you start getting on IA firm rosters, dig around a little bit on their websites because you might find that they've worked out discounts with cell phone companies and hotels and et cetera. You can also call your cell phone company directly and ask them if your employer has a discount. Okay, before we jump in, I'm constantly asked what the best way to get into this industry is. So with my buddy, Chris Stanley from iapath.com, I finally sat down and asked myself, knowing everything I know about this work, how would I start over from scratch as an independent property adjuster? What would be the most effective way to get going? What would I do in detail to get the training that I need? What licenses would I get and how would I get them? What gear do I need? How would I approach IA firms about getting on their rosters? And more importantly, how would I find a mentor who would do more than teach me, but who would also vouch for me? Well, I'm happy to announce that we've created a comprehensive roadmap for becoming a working property IA. One that keeps you on the straight and narrow with no dead ends, no confusion about what to do next, and no crippling overwhelm. But it's more than just a roadmap. We decided to build something that would provide true mentorship because while it is somewhat about who you know, much more importantly, it's about who you can get to know who can vouch for you, and that's the core of this program. Look, you've already decided to become an independent adjuster. We wanted to create something that would take all the guesswork out of becoming an IA and get you there in the shortest amount of time possible with no BS, everything that you need and nothing that you don't. So for more information about how to get started on this property adjuster's path, head on over to adjustertv.com slash path. And speaking of IA firms, here's senior recruiter Andrew Price from Pilot Catastrophe to explain how their training program works. Well, basically for people that apply at Pilot, they really kind of fit into two categories, people that have experience and people that don't. And for the people that don't, we have an extensive screening process, not to keep people out, but to hopefully provide them the best place to be successful here at Pilot. And that allows us to set up uh, specific training classes to be able to add them to those as we have a need and they have a skill set or an experience that will match up with that. Uh, for the people that are looking for a desk assignment, there are specific desk adjuster classes. For people that are looking for a field assignment, there are specific field adjuster classes, both on the auto and the property side. And so based on their experience and skill set, when they're brought on board, our GoPilot recruiting team kind of helps them work through what they might be best fit to do first. The classes that we have available at Pilot range from free to having a cost. And we have classes that are both on-site and online. Our on-site classes, I'll tell you up front, most of them, not all of them, but most of them are going to be in either Mobile, Alabama or Fort Worth, Texas because that's where our training centers are built. It's not to say that we don't have roaming or rotating classes across the United States because we do. They're just not going to be as prevalent as those that are in the Mobile or Fort Worth offices. The online classes are primarily there to enhance someone's knowledge on something they've already been taught in one of the classes. Uh, one of the things that I can appreciate personally from working at Pilot is that I started here in 2004 with somebody that had no experience. Uh, I came from the medical field. Uh, first roof I ever climbed on in my life was as an adjuster, other than obviously helping my dad with Christmas lights. So I tell people all the time, if it hadn't been for the training provided at Pilot, if it hadn't been for the support behind the scenes, I promise I would not be an adjuster today. Uh, I probably wanted to quit 247 times. And thankfully there were people there to talk me off that ledge every day to help me redirect my focus and, and get me prepared for what I needed to do. So I'm very appreciative to what Pilot has as far as training. And what I really like is there's a variety of options. There are 
field classes uh, like the Property Field Claims College or the Flood Course for people that are looking to go that direction. Uh, we have the Desk Adjuster Academy or the Fort Worth class for those people that are looking for those types of desk jobs. Maybe they have a very limited amount of experience and they want to start at the desk before they have to work more of those catastrophic claims and they move to the field. Um, I sort of worked in reverse. From my perspective, I started as a field adjuster with limited experience and then worked backwards. Um, but I think everybody should get as much training as possible for every client that's out there because it, it provides you a well-rounded sense of yourself as far as adjusters goes to know what you need to know for the other side. If you want to be in the field, what does a desk adjuster do? For a desk adjuster, what does a field adjuster do? It will really make you a well-rounded adjuster. There are certain industry training classes that are absolutely essential to someone's success. Uh, classes in Xactimate, as an example, uh, Adjuster 101 or Boot Camp type classes. Those are great to take behind the scenes. Typically, the training at Pilot is client specific. It's going to be teaching you how to work for a particular client, what their estimatics, what their claim handling guidelines are, how they want you to process an estimate. It may not be down to the basics of this is a type of shingle that you need to be aware of. It's more of we expect you sort of have that type of base knowledge and now we're going to enhance it by tying it into what the client wants you to know. If you're waiting to get to our class to learn from scratch, you're probably going to be behind a number of people that have already done that research and that training ahead of time. Uh, Xactimate classes, construction classes, uh, adjuster TV, your time management classes, things like that that are really important because although customer service is one of the most important pieces of becoming an adjuster, after that the technical knowledge has to come very quickly. So starting with that kind of base before you move into one of our classes that are related to clients uh, is really going to help. The people that get that training prior to are going to be much faster at their road to success than I was at mine. Uh, I think that's the most important thing to remember. It's, you can succeed starting the route that I did, which is jumping into a hurricane first, but the likelihood of people being as successful starting at that route is not as high as the people that start with the proper training. So if you're interested in becoming part of the pilot roster, you go to pilotcat.com and fill out an application. You'll find one listed there for an auto or property claims adjuster. And based on our screening questions, it will help us figure out where we need to place you so that we can make you successful in your hopefully long career here at Pilot. Question of the day. If you're a roof salesperson, have you ever asked an independent adjuster, hey, how do I do what you do? It's a question I get all the time when I'm up on a roof with a guy. And stay tuned next week where I'll compare selling roofs to being an independent adjuster. For much more information about how to crush it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you've got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? You can binge your little heart out here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.